crowd seems to be growing a little bit. What I, what I did, I looked around at all these buildings, folks, and I said, what would happen if our founding fathers came back today? If they started a, a, a Tea Party Express bus tour from Sacramento and hit every city coming through, would they be happy with what they see? And I, I think, honestly, they'd be amazed. They'd, they'd see the industry. They'd be thrilled at what we've done. And they'd say, you know, this is great. And then they'd get to Washington. And they'd see the libraries. And, wow, that's great. And then they'd read the books. And what would these gentlemen do? Each and every one of them, I believe, would find a room without air conditioning, without a computer, without internet, without Twitter, or Twitter, or Twitter, or whatever. And they would take a pen to paper and they would come up with something like this. The history of the president, the Congress hereafter referred to as they, is to ignore the citizen voter. By ignoring the citizen voter, they have established an absolute tyranny over states. To prove this, we submit these facts. They have taken over private business by the use of monetary force. They have burdened future generations with debt they have neither voted for or subscribed to. This, in a very, very literal sense, is taxation without representation. They have taxed every citizen beyond their ability to pay without hardship. They have failed to represent the citizens, but rather chose to represent the self-interest and special interest groups. They have broken tax laws and appointed individuals powerful to powerful positions that have broken tax laws, yet have jailed private citizens for the very same violations. They do have a little parenthesis here, and I think Charlie Wrangle's name's mentioned. They have, they have passed a law that is a direct violation of the Constitution. They have ignored their citizens and voted against the wishes in their passing of cap and trade. They have ignored their citizens at town hall meetings to disgrace their office with their words and actions at said meetings to the media. We the people, with our elected governments, to return to the constitution of our founding fathers and to the Bill of Rights that all men and women are fought to maintain. We demand that Congress reconsider for the United States Constitution a balanced budget amendment which would stifle any future deficit spending. Congress serve no more than one term on any committee. Yeah. And that both branches of Congress can serve no more than a total of 12 years in office. Yeah. We demand that all members of Congress read each bill, vote on, and sign an affidavit they have read each bill. Yeah. We demand that all bills stand alone with no attachments. We demand that states' rights be restored and the federal yeah. government shall not withhold federal funds in order to blackmail states to do their bidding. Yeah. We demand an audit of the Federal Reserve. Yeah. In every stage of these oppressions, we have petitioned that they rectify their actions. I'm, 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 Our repeated petitions have been ignored. Elected officials whose every act which may define a tyrannical government are unfit to represent free people. We have warned them of attempts by their vote to extend an unjustifiable jurisdiction over us. They have been deaf to the voice of justice and our rights. We must, therefore, agree and in a requirement, denounce our separation and hold them accountable for their actions. We, we the free citizens of the United States of America, in protest here today, in the name and by the authority of the, uh, of the good people of this country, solemnly publish and declare that these United States are free states and independent states. And for the support of this declaration, we mutually pledge each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor to restore our Constitution to the sole document of freedom. So help us God.